One of the things I really love about having the iPhone 13 Pro Max is that I can shoot awesome 4K footage in ProRes and have just fantastic quality footage to make my videos with. The downside of that is I get really large file sizes and if you've got one of these phones you'll know that transferring the files from the phone to your Mac over AirDrop can be a bit of a problem from time to time. So in this video I'm going to show you how you can transfer these large video files from your phone to your Mac using a piece of software that you've already got, Image Capture. A lot of people don't realize this is built into OS X and it can transfer these files very fast, never fails, never times out and I'm going to show you how to do it right now. Okay, let's get started. First, connect your phone to your Mac using a lightning cable. Just plug it in here and plug the other end in here. Now that your phone's connected, just open up the image capture application on your Mac. That's real easy. You can do that simply by hitting command space to open spotlight and then start typing image capture. Next, select your phone from the devices section on the left hand side of the image capture window. You'll now see a list of all the photos and videos on your iPhone. I will point out that it's only showing you the videos and photos that are actually on your phone. If you've got things listed here that are actually up on iCloud, it won't show those here. Only the videos and photos that are actually present and resident on your phone. So now select the video files that you want to import. You can choose to import your videos to a specific location or just use the default location if that's fine with you. And that's it. Your large 4K ProRes video files are now going to import very quickly from your phone to your Mac ready for you to use in an edit and they won't time out on you. And that's it. You now know how to import large files from your iPhone to your Mac without having them time out. Really easy and really quick. Now, if you've got any questions about this or any suggestions for other things that you'd like answers to in other videos, put them in the description down below. If you found this video useful, don't forget to just click down here and subscribe. And if you want to watch some more videos, here's one that's really useful and here's another one. And I'll see you in another video real soon. Have a great day.